self-hypnotism, the technique and its use in daily living, by Leslie M. Lecron, clinical psychologist and author of uh, Techniques of Hypnotherapy, a unique method of self-analysis that helps you get to the root of your problems and uh, correct them with uh, the simple, safe, scientific techniques of self-hypnotism. Chapter 4 Now that you know the facts about hypnosis, you are ready to learn how you can hypnotize yourself for your own benefit. While in hypnosis you can influence and affect your subconscious mind more readily. You can put your inner mind to work for you. Most people find self-hypnosis relatively easy to master. Some may find it difficult. Others will find they succeed well on the first attempt. It will probably require practice. For a learning process is involved. It may take several attempts. Self-hypnosis gives you the key to a happy, to a happier life. The easiest and uh, quickest way to learn auto-hypnosis is to visit a physician or psychologist who uses hypnosis. One, two or perhaps three sessions might be necessary. In brackets, the away from anyone who advertises himself as a hypnotist. After induction by the therapist, you would be given post-hypnotic suggestions for inducing the state yourself. Some brief formula to follow will be suggested, both as to entering and as to entering and deepening hypnosis. You will be carrying out the post-hypnotic suggestion when you follow the formula and will slip in readily, will slip in readily. With a few practice sessions, you should quickly reach a good depth. How to induce self-hypnosis? Lacking an opportunity to be hypnotized first by someone else, the following method will show you how to hypnotize yourself for practice in uh, self-induction. Uh, it is best at first to use some object for eye fixation. When you have become proficient, this will not be necessary. Almost anything will do. A picture on the wall 
a spot on the ceiling, anything at which you can look without discomfort. One of the best objects is a lighted candle placed in a saucer or hold where it can be watched comfortably. The flickering flame of the candle has a hypnotic effect. Watching a fire in a fireplace also is effective. The lucid ball pendulum is also an uh, excellent object on which to concentrate. If you have a record player, a record player, you will find soft, slow music will be helpful. A comfortable position should be taken either sitting or lying down. As you watch the flame of the candle, in brackets or whatever, take three or four deep breaths to aid in relaxation, relaxating, relaxing. It is not necessary to say anything aloud. Give yourself suggestions by thinking them. One suggestion might be, as I watch this candle, my eyelids will become heavier and heavier. Soon they will be so heavy that they will close. Soon I will be in hypnosis. You can put this into your own words, repeating it several times as you watch the candle. As you feel your eyelids become heavier, let them close whenever you wish. A minute or two should be enough. Prolonged steering is completely unnecessary. As your eyes close, you should have a key word or phrase ready to serve as a signal to your subconscious to bring you into hypnosis. A good one is uh, relax now through any will do. The now in this phrase is important because it means immediately, not some time later. This phrase should be repeated slowly three times. You should then begin relaxation of your muscles. Start at your feet. Let the muscles of your right leg relax from the toes up to your hip. Then the left in the same way. Wiggle your toes and tighten all of the muscles first. Then let them go loose and limp. Then let the stomach and abdominal muscles relax following with the chest and breathing muscles. You will probably notice that your breathings, breathing becomes slower and more 
from the lower part of your lungs, abdominal breathing. Sometimes uh, this speeds up at first, as uh, does the pulse as one goes into hypnosis, while uh, sinking a little deeper, both tend to slow down a bit. Then let your back muscles relax, following with the shoulders and the neck. Often we have a good deal of tension in this area. Continue with the arms from the shoulders to the fingertips. As you go a little deeper, the facial muscles will also relax and loosen off their own accord. One of the signs of hypnosis is a smoothing out of the facial muscles with a lack of expression shown. A kind of wooden woodenness, woodenness of the features. You are now ready to go deeper. Think to yourself. Now I am going deeper and deeper. Repeating it several times, unless you dislike riding uh, escalators such as are in many department stories. Imagine yourself standing at the top of uh, one. In your mind's eye, See the steps moving down in front of you and uh, visualize the railings. Count backwards slowly from 10 to 0. Imagining as you start to count that you are stepping uh, onto the escalator and uh, standing with your hands on the railings while the steps move down, carrying you with them deeper and deeper. When you reach zero in your count, think of yourself as uh, stepping off uh, the escalator at the bottom. The first three times you practice self-induction, visualize yourself going down three different flights of the escalator from floor to floor counting each time as before. When you have become more proficient, going down only one level should be enough. If you dislike riding escalators, as some women do, subs substitute an elevator or staircase. A patient once told me he did not like to go down and asked if he could go up instead. Why not? It makes no difference. Going down is associated with the idea of deeper. If you prefer to go up, avoid the words deep and deeper and uh, substitute far and farther instead. 
You should now be at least lightly in hypnosis. Some will find they have gone quite deeply by this time. More suggestions can be made of going still deeper, if you wish. To help in this, you might then imagine yourself as being some place where you could relax well and enjoy it. This could be an image imaginary scene at a lake or on the sea, up in the mountains, fishing, boating, at home in your living room, anything pleasant. Concentrating on such an imaginary scene will tend to take you still deeper. The beginner probably will be wondering if he is getting results. Your mental attitude should be positive rather than negative. In your early practice sessions, do not care if you are having success. Practice will bring it. Be sure not to try. Trying holds you back while being passive and not caring will help. Take it for granted that you are at least lightly in hypnosis as it probable. How to measure the depth of hypnosis? A person in hypnosis does not remain at any given depth. There is a fluctuation. In a deep stage you may become aware of a kind of wave pattern. You tend to sink down into the through of the wave, then to come up on the crest very slowly. If you sense this, you undoubtedly have reached a good depth. Hypnotic states are usually classed as light, medium or deep, in brackets, deep is often termed somnambulism. somnambulism. You may wonder how deeply you have gone. In your first half dozen practice sessions, pay no attention. Subsequently, you can learn from your inner mind as to the depth you reach. If uh, we give uh, the subconscious a yardstick with which to measure it can uh, supply this information. It seems to have the ability to establish such a measurement quite accurately, as tests have shown. You can learn the depth by questioning your subconscious with ideometer replies. A yardstick for the inner mind to use can be an imaginary yardstick of uh, 36 inches. We can arbitrarily say that a light state is the first foot, 1 to 12 inches. A medium state is 12 
224 inches and uh, a deep one is a 24 to 36 inches there is a still deeper stage which has been called a plenary trance but for even an excellent subject to reach such a depth takes several hours of a continued induction few are able to go so deeply and uh, it is probably impossible with self-hypnosis you may disregard this entirely it has uh, no advantage except in uh, research while you are in hypnosis you can find the depth by using finger responses to questions after you have uh, awakened you can use either the fingers or the pendulum to learn from your subconscious the depth you reached questions can be worded something like this what is uh, the deepest i have been today have i been uh, deep as uh, or deeper than 20 inches on my yardstick if uh, the answer is no you should ask have I been as deep as or deeper than 15 inches? If the first answer is yes, ask as to 25 inches. By break, break, by breaking in this way, you can find the exact depth. You could narrow it down to a definite figure if you wish, but within five inches is enough for all practical purposes. Awake, awakening yourself, relaxed and refreshed. When you wish to awaken yourself, you need to merely think, now I'm going to wake up. Then count slowly to three or to five if you prefer. You will find that you will always awaken relaxed, refreshed, feeling exceptionally well. However, it is well to give yourself a suggestion to that effect. Subjects have on occasion complained of a slight headache on awakening. This is rare and the reason for it is not apparent. Any possibility of this will be prevented by such a suggestion. While in hypnosis, time may seem to pass very quickly. You may, you may find you have been in the trance for half an hour, when it has only seemed like a few moments. If you are tired when you induce self-hypnosis, you may drop off into a normal sleep. This can be prevented by suggestions of uh, remaining in hypnosis until you awaken yourself. The length 
of time you wish to be in hypnosis can be regulated while looking at the candle or before beginning the relaxation process give yourself a suggestion of awakening spontaneously after a given number of minutes or at a certain time you will then do so in a deep state there is considerable lethargy both physical and mental it is too much trouble to move or even to think very much it may be hard to concentrate your attention on whatever you may be trying to accomplish therefore when giving yourself suggestions it is much better to go no deeper than a medium stage probably the ideal depth for most auto hypnosis is from about 20 to 25 inches on your yardstick much can be accomplished even in a very light state a medium one is best when the idea has been offered to the subconscious and repeated about three times letting yourself sink a bit deeper will permit the subconscious to register and digest the suggestions more thoroughly while it does this your mind should be diverted from whatever suggestions have been made to something else practicing self-induction and uh, testing the results in your initial sessions of uh, induction allow about a half hour or at least 20 minutes for getting into hypnosis and uh, deepening the stage for the first four or five attempts you should not try to find out how deeply you have gone it might be discouraging if you learned it was only a very light stage or none at all each time you practice you should slip in a little deeper after about eight or ten sessions you probably will be reaching about as great a depth as you can achieve though this is not always so after the fifth session some tests may be made of course if you are sure you are reaching quite deep state after one or two attempts you can proceed sooner with tests when you have succeeded with uh, some of uh, the tests then you can begin producing some of the interesting and often valuable phenomena the first test should be what is called hand levitation let your arms resting beside you or on the arms of your chair relax completely 
in brackets. This is after you have hypnotized yourself. Concentrate on your right arm, if you are right-handed. On the left, if left-handed. You may be feeling a heaviness in your arms. Suggest to yourself that uh, the heaviness will quickly disappear. Imagine the weight of the arm draining out. Then think, my arm is getting lighter and lighter, lighter and lighter. All the weight is uh, dwindling away. Soon it will be as light as a feather. My hand will begin uh, to lift up into the ear. The arm will bend at the elbow and the hand will float up, lifting up higher and higher. Soon my hand will touch my face. As you make these suggestions, a feeling of lightness will gradually develop in the arm. Before the hand lifts, you may be aware of movements of the fingers, followed by the whole hand beginning to float upward. Keep repeating these suggestions. Be sure there is no voluntary effort made to lift the arm, but do not hold it back. It will move of its own accord, controlled by your subconscious mind. The time needed for the hand to reach the face will vary considerably with different individuals. It may it may take several minutes, though rarely that long. When the arm first begins to lift, you will notice that it moves in little jerks, the movement being very slow. As the arm rises higher, the movement may become faster. You can suggest this, and with less jerkiness, jerkiness. When your hand has touched your face, let the arm fall into any comfortable position. If this test is successful, you can be sure you have reached a light state of hypnosis. Try again in your next session if there is failure. The eyelids test and the hand clasp test. Another test may be made. While closing your eyelids tightly, Suggest that you are going to count to three and will then be unable to open the lids. Repeat this with the thought. The harder I try to open them, the tighter the lids will stick together. Then make your suggestions something like this. 1. My eyelids are gluing tightly together, glued fast together. 2. It's as though they were 
welded into one piece, welded together, and uh, I cannot open them. Three. Now they are locked, locked tightly together. Keep repeating the word locked again and again while you now try to open your eyes. If the test is uh, successful, the lids will stay closed, no matter how hard you try to open them. In accepting these suggestions, your subconscious blocks the nerve impulses from reaching the muscles of the eyelids to they do not move. The suggestions should be given slowly, allowing time for them to become effective. Don't rush it. Another good test similar to this is called the hand clasp test. It is done by clasping the hands together in front of you or above your head with the palms turned out away from you. While you squeeze the fingers and uh, knuckles tightly together, you give the same suggestions as uh, with the eyes, but substitute hands for eyelids in the wording. If you are holding your hands in front of you, be sure to squeeze the palms tightly together. Suggestions for self-hypnosis When there is difficulty reaching hypnosis with the simple method given previously, a longer induction may be needed. More suggestions can be made an uh, actual induction talk can be employed. After you have repeated your key phrase three times and before using uh, the imaginary escalator, give yourself suggestions somewhat as follow. As I lie here comfortably, I will find myself relaxing more and more with each breath I take. My eyes are closed now and I will begin to feel a pleasant listlessness creep over me. I'll give way to this feeling. It is so pleasant to relax. My arms and legs will begin to feel heavy. I am drifting into hypnosis and uh, relaxing more and more. It is as if all problems have been set aside and nothing seems to matter. I will feel a sense of uh, comfort and well-being, drifting deeper and deeper, deeper with every breath I take. As I count backwards and imagine the escalator or elevator or staircase, I will go deeper with each count. This induction talk may be memorized or changed into your own phrasing, keeping the ideas expressed in it. 
When you have said it to yourself, then use the escalator technique for further deepening. When your early practice sessions have been completed and you begin making tests or suggesting phenomena, you will find that any successful test or production of phenomena tends to take you still deeper. Some uses of uh, auto-hypnosis. Self-hypnosis can be of great value in many ways. It is the best means available for overcome insomnia. If you ever have such difficulty, put yourself into hypnosis on going to bed. When you can suggest passing from hypnosis into natural sleep, wording it like this. I will gradually relax more and more, becoming sleepier and sleepier. Within a few moments I will fall sound asleep and will sleep soundly all night long. After making such a suggestion, your mind should be diverted at once to anything pleasant, with no further thought of sleep. This is quite important. Thinking about it tends to prevent your subconscious from producing sleep. A good night's rest should follow. Insomnia is sometimes a deep-seated neurotic, neurotic symptom. Suggestion may not overcome it, therefore, and you will need to uncover the causes. Method for doing this for the insomnia case will be described later. Self-hypnosis has many other advantages. You will find yourself more relaxed during your daily life. Hypnotic suggestion can inhibit fatigue. If you are tired at the end of the day and must go out that evening, a few moments in hypnosis with suggestions of waking refreshed and rested will bring back feelings of vigor and vitality. When you have learned how to produce hypnotic, hypnotic anesthesia, there will be times when this ability will be of much help. Being, ab being able to shut off pain may be a real assert in visiting your dentist or following a painful accident. However, pain has a purpose and a dis discretion, and common sense must be used in turning it off. A pain in the abdomen might be a symptom of appendicitis. And to shut it off could be dangerous. People dying of cancer in great pain have been taught auto-hypnosis and so have been more comfortable in their last hours. Hypnotic anesthesia 
should only be used when it obviously is all right to stop the pain. Self-hypnosis may be very helpful in studying and learning if you are a good enough subject to be able to open your eyes and stay in hypnosis you can study while in the trance concentration ability to absorb new material recall ability and examination performance are much improved under hypnosis when you intend to open your eyes while in hypnosis is a suggestion should be made that you will go even deeper as you open them there is a tendency to awaken or for the depth to lessen on opening the eyes Probably this is due to associating opening of the eyes with awakening as we do from sleep. How self-hypnosis helped the school teacher. A school teacher who had returned to summer school to make up a course in plain geometry in order to earn her degree told me she was having great difficulty with this sad course. She was half way through the six-week term and said she hated the subject, did not understand it and could not force herself to study properly. She was an excellent subject, so I advised her to study under auto-hypnosis and to take her examination while in a trance. She followed the advice and received an excellent grade. Others has, have also found their grades increased with this method. The main purpose of self-hypnosis is to influence the inner mind through suggestion. It will greatly shorten the time in reaching your, your goals in any program of self-therapy. How to use partial age regression? Uh, well, now let's stop here and uh, we'll uh, continue the next time.